Good afternoon. I'm going to do a video reviewing uh, six different oils that I have collected from oil perfumery over the last uh, six, seven or so months. Um, these are all the oils that I bought with my own money. So this is not a sponsored review for oil perfumery. Uh, they don't know I exist. These are my own opinions. Um, I bought them with my own money. So that's important to let you know. And another important thing I'll say right off the bat is that I find each of these fragrances to be very accurate to the original, if not identical. So that's important for you to know too um, at the beginning of this video. Um, so I'm going to go through and discuss each of the scents. Um, I'll put timestamps in for each of these fragrances. And uh, so if you already know what Roses to Chloe smells like or Green Irish Tweed, uh, it might you might not even need to listen to me talk about it because if you know the original, it smells like the original. Um, so there's that. And then very quickly, I'll just say, for those who don't know, oil perfumery is one of those, um, it's like a clone house and they do uh, copies as close as possible to um, original fragrances from different brands like Joe Malone, Creed, Tiziana Terenzi, etc. So yes, okay. So I'm gonna start off with Open Sky. Open Sky is a Byredo scent. Oh, by the way, yes, all the bottles look pretty full of oil. Um, it takes a while to go through them, I'll say that. And also, um, I have a lot of fragrances to use. So I even th though I like basically all of these fragrances I'm gonna show you today, um, you know, throughout the days and months, I'm using other perfumes, so I don't get to use them um, as frequently as maybe I would like but I definitely can tell you my opinions on each of these oils. So, Open Sky is one of my favorites in this entire batch that I'm showing you. Open Sky is a cannabis peppery fragrance. It has a note of pomelo that's listed. Pomelo is similar to grapefruit, but what I get is a very peppery, diesel like cannabis note um it is and also that kind of comes across like rhubarb in my opinion so if you like rhubarb this might be up your alley it's very green it's a very green kind of scent very vegetal cannabis you know what i mean and the performance on this one is i think very good I find that it lasts pretty strongly on me uh, for six hours at least. So that is Open Sky from Byredo. Definitely suggest checking out the original or the, the oil interpretation. This is Roses to Chloe. This is another really good one. It is a very pretty, fresh, rose and a pink rose i wouldn't say this is red or any other color it's a very fresh pink rose it has a little bit of citrus in there um but if you like the original chloe or if you like those um almost soapy bright and light uh refreshing rose fragrances this one is pretty good it's very good actually the only thing is, I find that this one does not last for very long on me. Um, I can't remember how the original, how long the original lasted, but um, yeah, this one lasts on me for a few hours. I wish it lasted longer, but I do hope that with time, it might, you know, macerate and get a little bit stronger because that can happen with these oils. They do sometimes get stronger. Um, so that is Roses to Chloe, a great fresh rose.
fragrance. Okay. Oudwood by Tom Ford. Very popular one. Okay. Yeah. Very much like the original. It is... I'm getting a lot of spiciness, but it's like a fresh kind of spice. A little bit cold. And then... Oud is definitely the main star of the show. Um, I'm not getting a ton of cardamom. And there's a little bit of sweetness from the vanilla. But I'm not getting a, like a straight up hit of vanilla. Yeah, it's very woody with cold, fresh, spicy notes. Um, but like I said, uh, cardamom is one of the spices in this fragrance, and I'm not getting very clear, distinct cardamom. Oudwood, for me, it performs moderately. Um, and it, yeah, moderately, five hours or so. Um, not a lot of projection on that one. Okay. The next one is Viking from Creed. This one is, okay, a lot of people, and this is after I bought the oil, um, a lot of people, and when I, bought, when I bought the oil, I hadn't smelled the original. I bought a sample of the original after I ordered the this oil. A lot of people had compared Viking to uh, Old Spice. Their body washes and deodorants and they had, old spice has fragrances too and i'm definitely seeing that in this fragrance i am getting an old spice kind of vibe but you know old spice is a good smell it's a very nice fresh clean spicy kind of smell mm, i'm getting some mint which i know is in the original mint some powdery lavender um, that's primarily what I'm getting. It's just like a, oh, and, you know, fresh spice, a fresh spice kind of note. Um, yeah, it is. I think if you were wearing this, it would come across very clean and inoffensive and fresh. Uh, this Viking oil on me, it performs also moderately yeah it performs moderately on me so maybe like five hours um with subtle projection okay this one i love green irish tweed this there's a lot of dupes and clones of green irish tweed out there this one is the best that I've come across so far. I'm currently waiting on a bottle of Verbena Fields from um, Parfums Vintage. I never thought I'd order from them, but I just had to try it. So I'll see how that performs or how that compares. But this Green Irish Tweed is really good. Uh, it is the soapy clean skin version of green irish tweed or uh, not version but i know there's some v variation between different batches and years of green irish tweed and this one does the soapier version like that you know fresh out of the shower clean uh clean skin uh iteration of green irish tweed it's very pleasing i love it this is if you like green irish tweed this you can't go wrong but i will say that the performance on this hasn't been good for me uh i'll be able to perceive it on my skin or on my you know I'll apply it to clothes too sometimes um for maybe like three or four hours maximum and then I can't smell it afterwards. So that's a huge shame for me. Um, but like, you know, the Roses to Chloe, right over here that I had mentioned, 
I hope that with time, um, because I just bought this, with time I hope that it does improve the performance of this. Um, so that's that. Yeah, very nice soapy. If you want to smell clean, these are very, very nice clean um, smells. Okay. And then the last one we have is Orange Blossom from Joe Malone. This is, this is spot on with the original. And the original, in my opinion, was all about the orange blossom, but then it had lilac and that lilac added a nice kind of nuance to it. And you don't smell lilac that much in fragrances. So it makes this fragrance unique. It is very floral, maybe a little bit sweet. Um, I don't want to say citrusy because people often, you know, when there's a fragrance that has neroli or pettigrain or uh, orange blossom, they call it citrusy. And in my opinion, that's not citrusy. That's more floral. So to me, this is a floral, um, very pretty floral um, orange, this is orange blossom scent. This is a spectacular orange blossom fragrance. And I know the original has a cult following behind it. Uh, and I can understand why. It's one of the few orange blossoms I've tried that I actually like. Because a lot of times, I don't know what's wrong with me, but orange blossom can come across like a, like a tortilla, like an uncooked tortilla smell. I know. I've never heard of anybody else describing it that way, but for me, that's what can, uh, what can happen. And it could be cloying, but this is not uh, cloying to me. It's a very nice, floral, inoffensive smell. A great take on orange blossom with that lilac that differentiates it from a lot of other orange blossom fragrances that are out there. The performance on this one is, this is the newest uh, oil that I've, purchase from oil perfumery um so maybe it's just new or maybe it was pro produced very recently but this performance on this is kind of mild i'll just say it's kind of mild um i'm getting uh, maybe like three to four hours um of it um performing on me on my skin performs better on clothes, so sometimes I'll hit five hours, but uh, it's definitely not the strongest oil perfumery oil that I've purchased before. Um, so that's too bad, and I wish it did better, but like I said with some of these other ones, maybe with time it will improve, and if that's the case, I will edit this video and I'll um, include that in the notes. Uh, but yes really beautiful floral scent so that is my review for these oils uh i think they're all wonderful very nice offerings and uh yeah uh let me know if you have any questions uh thank you for watching bye